Hey guys, it's Kayler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at my favorite text editor and probably the best one I found thus far. Uh, the reason for that is it has a live preview mode and it is nice. So I get a lot of questions in my code related videos about uh, how do I have the live preview going? How do I have things auto refreshing? That's the same thing. I also get things like how do you highlight things that you're working on? And then I also get the general question of what text editor I'm using. So with that, let's start to answer some of those questions. So my text editor is called Brackets. Let's go to their website. You guys can get your hands on this text editor by going to brackets.io. It says it's a modern open source text editor that understands web design. Just click this button right here and you can download it. Uh, so it gives you a little bit of information about the text editor itself, highlights some of the features, and this is one of the main ones, the live preview. Uh, this is the reason I fell in love with this text editor. It also gives you some patch notes. So here's the new release 1.9 and some information about that. If you guys are interested in the operating systems, you go to support, scroll down, and it will list everything you need to uh, run this program. Pretty much every operating system is on here as long as your computer wasn't built in 1984. Um, you're good to go. Uh, it also has some other things if you guys want to get real detailed into the text editor itself. All right, so let's go ahead and launch the text editor now. So here's what brackets looks like when you open it up for the first time. Over here, I have my project folder that I've opened, and it's just called website. Uh, here's the folders that I have in it. I only have an images folder. I can open and collapse that, and I have my pages that are inside that folder as well. So I can open those up by double-clicking on them, and it will open them fully. So I can also split my screen, which I do a lot. Uh, it's just this icon right here. You can go no split, vertical, or horizontal. I usually do a horizontal split with the CSS at the bottom and the uh, HTML up top. All you got to do is drag and drop these to wherever you want them. Really easy to use. Over here on this side, you have the live preview option. As you can see, I already have it running. So if I just disable that really quickly with the index open, I'll just launch it in the live preview. It opens up in the browser for me, and it shows me exactly uh, what it would look like. So if I go back to my text editor, and I'm going to make this about 50% of the page here, uh, as you'll see, it's highlighting things in blue. So that's one of the other common questions I get. Uh, so if I select a certain element, so if I grab this uh, features element here in the footer, you'll see that it highlights that in blue and shows me clearly what I'm working on because I have multiple things on the page named features. So that just ensures me that I'm not working on the wrong thing and applying different styles. Uh, so if we want to do something like, uh, I don't know, let's add another link in here. So once I put in the opening tag, it automatically adds the ending tag on there and puts my cursor in between the two. If I open up an A tag, href equals, let's just pound sign this out, and then let's just put in uh, projects again. Now you'll see down here, it's highlighted for me and I can see what I'm working on and automatically refreshes for me, which is really cool. So I don't have to save and refresh the browser, it automatically updates everything for me. So let's just quickly take this line out and let's go and grab some CSS. So down here, I have a dot copy wrapper and this is for the copyright. If I wanna apply certain styles to that, so like a background color, I just type in back and it gives me recommended suggestions. Based on the characters that I typed, it's gonna give me everything that I can apply to it. So if I go back a little bit, to just BA, you'll see all the different options that now appear that match those characters like break after, flex basis, border image. It's just looking for things with those in particular characters. So that's really cool. So here's the background. Say I want color, I just click on that. And it also gives me the CSS colors that I can choose from. So there's coral and I just add my semicolon and I'm done. There's my coral footer. One thing I want to show you guys really quickly is how to change the theme. I don't like this theme, but this is the default theme. If you want to change it to dark theme, go to view, themes, and you can set it to the brackets dark. This is what I prefer to work in because I work a lot at night, and I also find in the day it's still easier on my eyes. I've also bumped up my font size to 15 pixels. I don't think that's what default is. Uh, so if you want to change that, there you can. And I think you can even change the font family. I've never done that or messed with that, uh, but you can if you want. So I'm going to click done on that. And so here's what it looks like. It looks a lot better, in my opinion. It's easier for me to read this. And that is my text editor, Brackets. I use this on a daily basis, and it's probably going to be my favorite for quite some time. Um, so just a quick recap. It's got the live preview mode, which is 
very nice to have. It updates everything automatically as I'm coding it, and I can see what the different styles and things I'm applying do uh, live without having to save and reload the browser. It also finishes my tags for me. It closes those automatically, and it also gives me suggestions when I type, and it does a lot more as well. You can read about it on their website. All right, so if you guys have a favorite text editor, let me know what it is in the comments below. If you think yours is better than this one, uh, link it to me, and I'll go try it out and see which one I prefer. For my workflow, this one is the best one for me. If you guys try this out for the first time, I want to know your thoughts, so share them in the comments below. Also, leave a like on this video for more videos just like it, and as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching the video guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. On the left is my previous video, just in case you missed it. On the right is YouTube's recommendation just for you, and the top center icon is my channel icon. Click that to subscribe for more content just like this. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.